about two months ago, I did a video showing you how to disable the back gesture on Android 11 devices on either the left or right side. I did that video because I saw a lot of people within the community were annoyed that they were trying to access the hamburger menu in the top left corner by the typical swipe gesture. Because before the navigation gestures were implemented, many people accessed this overflow menu by a swipe in gesture on the left side of the screen. However, since Android 11, many people are using that swipe in gesture as a back gesture. And in doing so, it's caused some conflicts and confusion between the Android operating system and the user's intent. So in today's video, I want to show you a number of different gestures that people are using within the community that will allow you to still use a similar back gesture to access this overflow menu without actually triggering the back gesture on Android 11 and newer devices. So as you can see, when we have an application with one of these menus, doing a quick swipe gesture is going to reveal the back caret right here, which indicates that when you let go, it's going to perform a back. So one way is to combat this is actually to do a long press before you do the swipe in. It's a couple of seconds delayed on after the tap and then you swipe in to bring out that overflow menu. With some practice, this gesture becomes quite second nature, but as you just saw, sometimes you're gonna have issues triggering the menu because you're gonna actually hit that back gesture instead. So another way people are getting around this is by doing either an L or a J swipe gesture. So again, we're going to swipe down into the right as an L in an attempt to trigger that menu. It's generally a lot easier to do it with the thumb rather than the finger that you're seeing me do it on screen. But again, it's something that's going to take practice and eventually it will become second nature. So just like the L gesture, there's also some people who are doing a J gesture, which is a more of a swooped version of the L it's backwards J, but as you can see here, it triggers that menu a lot more consistently than the J, likely because of the swoop from the gesture. So that J is something that a lot of people are using to access this menu instead of just the simple swipe M or the delayed swipe in. And then there's some people who are using the swipe in gesture, which is instead of swiping directly perpendicular into the screen, you're going in at an angle. And again, more consistent for some people than the other gestures. And you're going to see all of these working in all of the apps that have these type of menus, whether it's the diagonal, the J swoop, the L swoop, and even the delayed swipe in. As long as the app has that 
hamburger menu icon with that extra menu, these additional gesture swipes are all accessible. And hopefully these suggestions will help anybody who's having issues with the back gesture on Android 11 and higher.